Good morning, morning everyone. What's going on? Good morning. morning. It is day two. We had the best day yesterday. It was so easy awesome. getting on the ship. Crazy I mean, easy. leaving out of Port Canaveral, so easy for us in Orlando. So that was amazing. Loved that. Now it's day two. And you know what that means? Ship tour day. It's ship tour day. We haven't seen much of the ship. We've seen a couple decks uh, from where we sort of moseyed around, but we get to see it all today. It's official. Can't today. wait. It's official. So let's get started. We are on deck two. We mm -hmm. have a cove balcony, and we will definitely uh, awesome. do a quick tour of our balcony when the bed gets made and all that stuff. But uh, so we are going to go all the way up to deck 15 and start from deck 15 and work our way all down. Way down. Um, so yeah, let's go. Day two, ship tour day. I love it. It's my favorite day. It's fantastic. fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Deck 15. Let's go. Let's see. We are going 15 forward. We are going here. Up here. Let's do it. Alright, we are starting our ship tour today on deck 15 and we are standing outside the Serenity deck. The Serenity deck is adults only, it's for anyone over the age of 21. It's amazing. There are a ton of loungers, there's two hot tubs, there's even a bar, and there's some hammocks and everything. So it goes all the way around the front of the ship. It's so beautiful, so peaceful, so relaxing, definitely a great place to enjoy a sea day. On deck 15 you will find the entrances to the water slides there are two and they look amazingly fun and awesome so definitely come check them out right on top of deck 15 next to the serenity area and talking about all the water fun that you can have on the carnival breeze this is the carnival waterworks it looks amazing there are like water areas and buckets and all kinds of stuff to play in definitely a cool way to cool off on a hot sea day i mean it's amazing check it out We are on deck 12 now. We're right below the Serenity deck and on deck 12 you will find the Cloud 9 Spa. It is an amazing place. We came and did the tour yesterday. If you're on day one and you want to check out the spa, they have free tours all day during the morning when you guys come on the boat. So definitely check that out. We're going to roll that beautiful bean footage because we already have that footage for you.
12 and we are in the middle of the ship. We're right underneath the whale tail and we are standing in the sports square, which is gonna be all the activities, all the game stuff. So you've got pool tables, you've got foosball tables, you've got mini golf, you've got all kinds of stuff here. There's even a TV. I believe there's a bar here. I mean, it's a really cool place to kind of relax and have fun and just get your game on. Right beside Sports Square, you'll find the jogging track. So you can come up here and walk all the way around, get your jog on, get your walk on. I don't know, just do it. <laughs> Deck 12, which is just past the sports square, you'll find the basketball court. And if you would like to work out outside, they have this really cool area. It's called Sky Fitness, where they have these machines. So you can get your workout on outside. It's really cool with the sea, with the breeze, and the sun. What? Okay, we are on deck 11 now, and deck 11 is a great place to sit. There's all these lounge chairs. You can look down on the pool. You can also come here and watch the dive-in movies that play on the big screen, which is a really, really cool thing, which we're gonna hopefully do on this trip. Uh, we missed it on our last carnival trip, but we're trying to get it on this one. But it's very, very cool. Lots of seating, lots of places to hang out and chill and relax and enjoy your cruise. <laughs> Brawl hunting. Brawl hunting. <laughs> okay, at the back of deck 11, past all of the seating where you can relax all day, you will find Cucina del Capitano, which is the Italian restaurant here. We ate here last night and it was so yummy. We loved it, we loved every minute of it, it was so good. So definitely come check this out. It is a specialty dining restaurant, so there is an upcharge, but definitely worth it. We give it two thumbs up. Okay, we are on deck 10 now, deck 10. On deck 10, you will find all of your pools and you will find the Lido Marketplace, which is gonna be your buffet. So breakfast, lunch, dinner. I think they even have some ship snacks. So definitely come check that out. It's amazing. aft of the ship, if that's the back of the ship, and you will find the Tides Pool, which is right here. Tides Pool's really cool, it's got a great view. There's also a pizza place back here, Pirate's Pizza, and there's Tandoor, which is Indian food. There's a bar, and in the morning, there's coffee and juice, which we are gonna go get one right now. All right, we are on deck 10 right now, and we are outside the beach pool, which is the main Lido deck pool. It's amazing, lots of chairs, lots of pool, love it. But also on the pool deck, there are four fun, fun, fun things, like the Red Frog Rum Bar, which we're standing under right now. Okay, right next to the Red Frog Rum Bar, you'll find the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. I mean, rum, tequila, which one do you choose? Oh, we get both, you're on a cruise. Enjoy yourself. right across from the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, you'll find the Blue Iguana Cantina, which you can come here and get burritos and taco salads. In the morning, they have breakfast burritos, so definitely come try those out. And the last stop on our pool tour, our pool circle tour, would be Guy's Burger Joint. It is the best burger on the whole entire ship. It is amazing. We love these burgers. Burgers, fries, amazing lunchtime. You gotta come try it. Early worm gets the burger. Okay, we are back inside now. We did all the upstairs, all the outside decks. It's amazing, gotta come check those out. Now we're inside on deck five. We skipped all the decks with cabins on it. Deck five starts your stuff, like all kinds of stuff. You know, the very first thing on deck five is the Ovation Theater. It's a huge theater, lots of shows at night. Definitely have to come try those out. We haven't seen one yet, but we cannot wait to get in there and see a show. Okay, 
right behind the Ovation Theater, still on deck five, you will find the fun shops. Let's go check out and see what kind of fun shops are on the Carnival Breeze. There's Rum K, which is a great place to get any kind of clothing. Love that. And how about Wave Surf Shop? Yeah, gotta come get check out all the surfing gear. Very, very cool. And Front Street Watches, I mean, you always have to know what time it is because there's always stuff going on, so definitely come check out their watches. It's so cool. This is Evie, a great place to get jewelry, so if you're interested in some jewelry, come check it out. And my absolute favorite shop of all the fun shops would be Cherry on Top. Come here and get all your ship snacks. So cool. I mean, they've got candy and ice cream. I mean, they've got all kinds of stuff. Definitely have to come check this out. We have to come here and get some ship snacks. <music> Moving right along, you'll find funnel gear. And we all know what that means. That means get all your carnival stuff here, all of your carnival breeze stuff, all of everything you need, magnets, t-shirts, whatever you need, come here and find it here. And here you'll find Island Traders, which is going to be your general store, which has just all kinds of different stuff. So come check this out. So awesome. And our very last stop on the Fun Shop Tour would be Sea Breezes. It's going to be all your beauty fragrances. So very cool makeup, perfumes, all that stuff. Very, very neat. One more shop. Forgot this one. This is Portside. This is going to be your liquor and your tobacco. So you can buy all your duty free stuff here. Very, very cool. Come shop here. It's awesome. All right, we're still on deck five, and you know you hear all those bells, whistles, and all that stuff. That means we're outside the casino. Let's go take a look. We are still on deck five, and right past the casino, you'll be in Ocean Plaza. Ocean Plaza holds a lot of stuff, and the very first thing you'll find is Pixels Gallery, which is gonna be the place where you come to check out all of the pictures that you get taken on the ship. It's awesome. Get your picture on, come here at Pixels Gallery, and check them out. All right, we are still on deck five. We are at Ocean Plaza, and we are sitting outside the Alchemy Bar. We were here last night. Great drinks. Come and check that out. Also, there is a band, live band, that plays here at night, and there's a breakfast buffet in the morning, and it's right next to the coffee place. Such a great area, lots of seating, lots of places to chill and hang out. There's outside seating, there's inside seating. It's awesome. The best feature, I think, on Deck 5, the Plaza Cafe, which is gonna be all of your coffee place. So come get your coffee, love caffeine, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, also on deck five, you will find Bonsai, which is gonna be your sushi uh, restaurant. It's also specialty dining. It's tapas, you kinda order whatever sushi you want and they make it here. We saw it last night, it looks very, very yummy. So come check this out if you really like sushi. Moving right along on deck five, you'll find the Red Frog Pub. It's awesome. Lots of cool things here, lots of cool drinks, lots of cool food as well. So come check this out. I mean, Red Frog Pub, it's amazing. One amazing thing about the Red Frog Pub is they have all this outdoor seating and they have this really cool swing thing. I mean, come out here and you can get a drink and just kind of hang out and watch the ocean go by. What better way to enjoy your cruise? All right, continuing on deck five, you'll find the Liquid Nightclub. Definitely check your times guides for all the activities going on here. Let's go check it out. We are in the aft of deck five, which there's a bunch of stuff back here. And the very first thing you'll see is the piano bar. Definitely a cool place to come hang out at night, sing along with the piano player. So awesome, definitely have to come check this out. All 
Right across from the piano bar on deck five, you'll find Fahrenheit Steakhouse, which is an amazing steakhouse. We absolutely love it here. We have dinner here tonight. I cannot wait. Let's go check it out. the steakhouse and the piano bar you'll find the limelight lounge this is where all of your small venue entertainment is going to be so your comedy club bands all this stuff happens at night check your times guide so much fun all wrapped into one lounge deck five but we are outside and outside of deck five you will find the lanai lanai goes all the way around the entire deck five which is really cool there's hot tubs and there's seating and there's all kinds of cool things but one of the most cool things on deck five outside would be pig and anchor so you can come here and get your your smokehouse all your brisket your barbecue all that stuff uh, they have sausage and chicken and baked beans such great food definitely come check this out deck five on lanai Okay, we are on deck four. We are standing outside of Club O2, which is gonna be your teen club, so definitely come check that out if you are a teen. And right next to Club O2 on deck four, you'll find the Warehouse Arcade. Very cool arcade, let's go check it out. Club 02, so if you're 15 to 17, come down here and hang out with your friends. Very cool place. And moving right along. If you are 12 to 14, come to Circle C, which is right next to Club 02, and hang out with your friends here. Okay, still on deck four, right past the art gallery, you'll find the Thrill Theater. And remember, there are three different levels, one, two, and three. We are definitely a level one kind of couple. Well, I'm actually a level one kind of person. Sean's a level three kind of person. So we compromise with level one. <laughs> All right, we're still on deck four and we found the library bar. Let's go check out this amazing bar. outside of the atrium like above the atrium and you will find that this is the pixels gallery so more pixels places to come see your pictures they have things like magnets and different kinds of picture stuff that you can buy here you will also find the entrance to the sapphire restaurant which is going to be a main dining room on this floor on deck four which is really really cool but i love the view down on the atrium it's so pretty plus if there's something going on you can stand up here and watch everything from below Okay, we've come to the end of deck four and you will find another entrance to the Ovation Theater. There are three, deck four, three, four, and five. Very, very cool. Let's go down to deck three now. All right, we are on deck three. It's our final deck and we're starting with the last entrance to the Ovation Theater. Remember, deck three, four, and five, you can enter the Ovation Theater. Let's walk in here and see it because this theater is so big and so cool. And if I don't fall, you get to check it out. On deck three, you will also find the Carnival Adventures, which is gonna be your shore excursion. So come down here, book all of your shore excursions. Very cool, check them out. Okay, in the middle of deck three, you will find the atrium. This is where you're gonna have all your party stuff happening during the night, which is really cool. And if you're here for Halloween, you'll find Patch the Pumpkin Pirate. Also, you got to check out the Breeze Bar, which is right here. Another thing you'll find on deck three is guest services. So if you have any issues or you want to talk to somebody about something, come here to guest services. They will help you out. 
Okay, at the back of uh, the atrium on deck three, you'll find the main entrance to the Sapphire restaurant. This is your main dining room restaurant. Come here at night, have some dinner. There's menus on the wall. It's really cool. Love this restaurant. and now we're outside the Blush restaurant. This is where it's another main dining room, but you know what they have on sea days? They have sea day brunch. So that ends our ship tour, but we gotta get our eat on and we gotta get up a hearty breakfast. So let's go get breakfast. What an amazing breakfast. So good. <laughs> if you are on a carnival ship, you had it's a sea day. You have to come get sea day brunch because it's so good. It's so so good. Sea day brunch. <gasps> it's a good day. Good day. Good day. Great Let's day. go. Um, now we're sitting on our balcony. Just listen to the ocean. It sounds amazing. It's all about the cove balcony, yo. Yeah. Oh, we love this balcony. It's so nice being so low to the ocean because you get to see it and hear it, and I love it. You can high five a dolphin. Oh, it'd be awesome. so great to see a dolphin. I would love that. No, it would be greater to high five a dolphin. If you would just jump up and do some tricks, that'd be so great. Anyway, back to our relaxation. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Day two. Night of day two. It's elegant night tonight. We're all fancy, fancy, fancy. Look at that, Look at that tie. The hers, the hers is nice. That tie is nice. <laughs> uh, we are going to the steakhouse tonight for elegant night. We are excited. Uh, Fahrenheit Steakhouse. So excited about that. We had the best ship tour today. I mean, just the best. It was just such a great day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. So, but now we're starving. We didn't eat lunch today. We're saving up for our steakhouse. So let's go get dinner. I am so hungry. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. Yay. Yay.
right, day two is over. It's finished and it was a wonderful, wonderful day. We had the best ship tour today and we got to see the whole ship and this ship is beautiful and has so many things that, that it offers. It's just wonderful. We are having so much fun. And then we had dinner at the steakhouse, which was also so good. Ah, <sighs> so much food, but so, so good. We didn't even have room for dessert. Seriously, we didn't even have room for dessert. Oh, I was so full. I was like, no more. No, I can't do any more. I was like, so much. But it was an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Loved every second of it. Uh, tomorrow we are at Amber Cove and we have a, an excursion tomorrow. We will talk all about that tomorrow. So for tonight, it is good night. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just such a great day. I loved every minute. So until tomorrow, Amber Cove, I uh, will see you then. Good night. Bye. I think I would spill my drink. <laughs>